Hey, I'm Lakeport Bass Fishing Guide Stephen Fothery, and in this video, I'm going to show you some tips for homemade soft plastic worm bait and fishing lures. There's a few different ways that you can customize your baits. I like to use nail polish, I like to use sharpies, and I like to use dies and scissors to trim skirts and cut plastics. I'm going to show you exactly how I like to do these things. The first thing that I like to use to customize lures at home is nail polish. Just make sure whenever you take this from your girlfriend or wife, you don't get caught. I like to start out with red and orange colors to uh, paint my hard baits and spinner baits. I like to use a little bit of red or orange and just paint a little bit on the throat or on the belly of some of your baits just to get a little bit of added attraction, added color in there. And now a thing that you can do with the translucent colors of nail polish is you can use these shades to paint over your spinnerbait blades and what that's going to do is it's not going to necessarily leave any color on your blades it's just going to put some of that flake some of that glitter onto that blade and give it a lot more flash when it's under the water now the next thing that I like to do to customize lures at home is to use sharpies on soft plastics a sharpie is a great way very simple way but a great way to color up soft plastics you can do things like take a uh, plastic and put some eyes on it um, sometimes I like to add stripes if I'm fishing around bass that I think are eating on uh, thread fin shad I like to put a little bit of a black or sometimes a blue back on top of there just paint it up just a little bit doesn't have to be perfect it just needs to uh, add a little bit of color and I'll use red sometimes too to, uh, to paint some gills on there like I said it doesn't need to be perfect just a couple sloppy stripes on there and it looks a little bit more realistic a little different than what the other anglers are throwing the third thing I like to do is I like to use chartreuse dyes especially on cloudy days in muddy water low light conditions anytime that you need a little bit more color in your bait use this chartreuse dye it's very simple to use just don't overdo it take your soft plastic I'll take this Hags tornado and just barely dip the tip of this tornado in that plastic and you can see it has that nice bright chartreuse hue it's got a garlic scent to it it's going to help you get a few more bites the last thing is scissors. A pair of scissors can do magic on a lot of your soft plastics as well as your jig and spinnerbait skirts. With these scissors, um, especially with this Hags Tornado, what I like to do sometimes is take these scissors and just split the tail of this tornado maybe an inch and a half, two inches up the plastic just to give that tail a little bit more action. This is great, especially when you're fishing this plastic on a shaky head. So in this video, we just learned how to customize lures at home. Good luck fishing.